Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna to be going through this new book from Erie. It's roughly the rough translation, or at least this is the one that I like the best that I've seen online. It's World Legend, Travel in the Land of Fairies and Magic. This book just came out on February 28th. I do have just a regular flip through that I normally do with music. I'll put the card for that in the corner. It's a really, really cute book. It is a third, the third in the series of books. I'll show you the first two. The first two being this one. Um, they all start with world, world something. Like this one is world heritage. And then this, I think this is, was the first one. World heritage. And then this one is world fairy tales. So this one is about fairy tales. I like this one the best, I think. Um, and then I think this one is just like about different places around the world that she visits. The girl here is a different girl than the girl that you see in in the romantic country books. This is about a different girl. I forget the girl's name in this one, but the romantic country books, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with them, but I'll go through just in case you're not. The first two, Romantic Country and the second tale, Romantic Country, these are really easy to uh, find here in the US and probably UK on Amazon and probably like any kind of, any bookstore, you could probably find these easy. Now we'll get into Romantic Country 3, the third tale. You're probably not gonna be able to find this in an English version anymore. I just happen to be really lucky that I found this copy for like ten dollars on book outlet one day this one you can if you go to amazon japan you can get this one they have this one or um etsy has has the books too but i advise you to go to amazon japan for them because it comes out a lot 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 cheaper if you're in the u.s at least um it'll come out cheaper for you on amazon japan i think i paid about $30 for this one. If I would have ordered it from Etsy, I probably would have ended up paying $60 for it just because of the shipping is so expensive right now. And so I'm going to leave you all the links to shop on Amazon Japan. I'll leave you the shop in English link as well as I'll leave you all the links to each one of these books. If you do have any questions about shopping in, on Amazon Japan, my email is always in the description box too. You can email me and I'll try to help you out. Um, I just wanted to get that out of, get that little info for you guys because I know a lot of people are get confused a little bit on shopping on Amazon Japan. But once you, you know, you know how to do it, it's pretty, pretty simple and it's really great if you can find the books. They have quite a few over there on Amazon Japan for pretty much half the price you would pay on Etsy. And just one more th thing about Amazon Japan, you will have to make a new account. You can't use your regular Amazon account. You have to create a whole new account. With all that info and background out of the way, let's get into the translations of this book. Some of these stories do have um, alcohol mentions in it. And I think there's one about the devil actually. So if you're a little sensitive to that, maybe you might want to skip this one. Or if you have kids and you don't want them to hear stuff like that, even though this channel is not really for kids, but I don't know. I know sometimes you might want to watch with your kids, but just as that's just a fair warning. It's just, it's not, a, I don't think it's a big deal, but some people might be uncomfortable with some of the, um, the imagery or the mention of that kind of stuff. So just a fair warning before I get started. Um, so I went through each little description of the book where they have the little table of contents over here. And I went through each little story. They all seem to be, since this book is called World Legends, this one focuses on different legends throughout the different countries. We'll, I'll go through, we'll, I thought it was funny. The actual front cover um, translates to World Legend, Fairy, and Magical Land, Trip Coloring Book, and Eerie's name translates to Melt for some reason. The translations are pretty good. Um, they mostly seem pretty straightforward. So I'm going to read them to you. 
Um, there might be some funny um, phrasings in there, but for the most part, I think they came out pretty comprehensive. I'll try my best not to shake you around. Let's get started with this first page here. This little girl, um, her name is Menon. And it says, Looking for a legend. There are many legendary places in Manon's town. A forest where wizards live, a hill where fairies gather, and an old castle where the goddesses of the lake live. When I was a kid, the legends that my parents told me were all full of mysterious charm. What kind of legend is there in the world? Looking at the lake, Manon inflates her fantasies. I'm sure you'll be waiting for exciting encounters. One sunny day, Manon and her best friend, the bird Hersey, decided to take their favorite trunk and embark on a journey to find the legends of the world. All right, now this page is the beginning of this chapter. It's called Legends of Fairies and Ghosts. And then this page is called Fairy Ointment. While traveling in England, a mysterious grandmother gave me an ointment in a small can. The medicine labeled Fairy Ointment is said to allow you to see the fairies when you apply it to your eyelids. Now this page is Summer Night Dream. In the woods near the Greek city of Athens, I met a mischievous fairy pack. Today I used an aphrodisiac to make the fairy queen Titiana fall in love. The opponent is a young man who has been magically turned into a donkey's head. Um, I think this is probably a take on maybe a Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, perhaps. Yeah, this one is called Sea Fairy Loan. While strolling along the Scottish coast, I met a seal and a boy. The seal is actually a fairy who lives in the sea called Loan and sometimes comes ashore and enjoys chatting with a good friend. Fairy lover, Leancy. It is Leancy, the fairy of Isaland, who sits in the fountain and reads the poetry collection left by her human lover. A fairy who gives poets and musicians great talent. It is said that a man who accepts the love of Leancy will die when he is young. This one I thought was pretty funny. Um, this one is called Drinking Fairy Curlo Horn. Curlo Horn, who loves alcohol, lives in an Irish brewery. I drink alcohol every day and live happily while singing and dancing. Yuki Ona's Sai. I met Yuki Ona in a rural Japan town where it snows completely. Her breath turns into pure white snowflakes, fluttering like butterflies and shining beautifully like jewels. And Fairy Alley. Traveling through the town of Montbilliard, France. On Christmas Day, Aunt Fairy Alley came from the sky on a donkey. It seems that a good boy will be given a present. I'm thinking this is, must be some sort of like Santa Claus type of a figure. Um, Aunt Allie's presents. Homemade teddy bears, dress up dolls, small Christmas ornaments. I can imagine what kind of Christmas gifts Aunt Allie will give me. This page is called Night Ghost Tour. I, I took a ghost tour in the historic English town of York. While listening to stories about the ghosts living in town, Walk along Shamble Street, a shopping street lined with buildings from the 14th to 15th century, and you will experience a completely different atmosphere from the daytime. Ooh, spooky. This one is called Cute Ghosts. If you meet cute ghosts, you will surely get to know them. Wear your favorite costume and join the Halloween party together. This one is called The Beginning of Halloween. I found a cute embroidery designed in Ireland. The birthplace of Halloween. Traditional fairy puka and lanterns made of made from capes. Brambrack, a suite that welcomes ancestors, hides small items such as rings and coins that are fortune telling. Now this goes into another chapter called Legend of Wizards and Al Alchemists. This page is called Wally Walpurgis Night. I visit the town of Gosler in Germany on a special day when a witch rally called Walpurgis Night was held. Wave your hands to the witch heading for the rally and continue your night walk. This 
called magic practice. To be a good to be a good witch, you need to practice magic. It is an original spell being developed by witch girl that magically that magically moves your favorite stuffed animals. Buddy Karis is also watching over his success. Familiar school. Take a look at the familiar school, which was opened for cats who want to be partners with wizards. Apparently, there are some children who are crazy about crystal balls because of the class. Um, if you're not familiar with <laughs> familiars, um, familiars are, are usually cats um, that you know hang out with witches. It can be a cat, but sometimes it could be other animals, but usually um, it's a cat. Um, this one, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, what is this crazy looking thing here? But this one is called um, The Bridge Built by the Devil. Maybe some people might not like this one. Um, it's called The Bridge Built by the Devil. When I visited Tuscany, Italy, I found a huge stone with a mysterious shape. Legend has it that the devil built it with the promise of getting the souls of humans who crossed this bridge first instead of completing it overnight. One is called the Lake of Swan. Swimming in a beautiful lake of the deep woods of Germany are the maidens who have been turned into swans by the magic of the devil, Rothwald. You can only return to human form for a short time at night. This one is called Nicholas Flamel's house. The home of the alchemist Nicholas Flamel is in Paris, France. It's exciting just to take a walk in front of the house and imagine what kind of research was being done here. This page is, was translation is a little bit awkward, so bear with me for this one. This one is called Philosopher's Stone. It says a philosopher's stone that has the power to turn everything into gold and cure illness. Nicholas Flamel has been successfully manufactured and has been quietly shown. At first glance, it has a mysterious power that gives you a thrilling sensation. This one is called Baba Yaga's house. The terrifying witch Baba Yaga lives deep in the Russian forest. The house, which stands on the feet of a huge chicken, is surrounded by a wall with lots of skeletons and has inaccessible has an inaccessible atmosphere. I got tulip cradle. Now this is a new chapter called Legend of flowers and plants. And then this page is tulip cradle. In England, little fairies without cradles lay their babies in tulip flowers at night. It feels very good to be gently shaken by the wind and fall asleep. Oh boy, this is gonna be a tough one for me. Look at this big long name here. So again, forgive me if uh, I can't pronounce this one. This is Sakura, Sakura of Kano Hana Asukara Ha Him Him. I don't know, whatever that is there. Sakura is a flower given by parents to celebrate Kono Hasa Sakura Him marriage to Ningji, the god of sun, the god of the sun. Every spring, cherry blossoms in full bloom dye the whole of Japan in light red. Lily of the Valley Cup. On a beautiful spring night, fairies who work in the fields of France gather once a year to decide the role of work for the next year. When the meeting is over, the fun begins. Dance all night and drink a sweet rush soup in a cup of Lily of the Valley flowers. However, be careful as Lily of the Valley is poisonous to humans. This one is called The Key to the Castle is Primrose. The key to opening the door of the castle protected by the fairies is the only one of the thousands of primroses that bloom in the field of a small German village. If you can find it, you will be guided by the fairies to get the wonderful treasure in the castle. Daisy flower fortune telling. Daisy is an incarnation of the Greek mythological tree spirit Hesperides. The girls I met in the small village in Europe, also known as the ones of love, also tore the petals one by one to foresee the whereabouts of love. Um, I think that's, you know, like when you're doing, he loves me, he loves me not with the, with the daisies. This one is meant for a, this whole two page spread here. 
Manon and the flower fairies. Fairies love to fly around beautiful flowers, sweet pea dandelions, lavenders, carnations, white clovers, and forget-me-nots. You may have come to play near the flowers around you. Campanula and Dragon. In a country far west, there was a girl who saved her life as an assistant to a dragon. A golden apple that would be immortal when eaten. The girl was reborn as a Campanula flower by the flower goddess Flora. And this page over here is flower goddess Flora. And it says, in a forest in Europe, I met Flora, the beautiful flower goddess. She rides a swing made of flowers and enjoys, enjoys it with the little birds. This page is called Blackberry Girl. It's a legend I heard in Cornwall, England. To help the girl who was transformed into a blackberry by the magic of a witch, the prince who was transformed into a red ash glass by the power of a court magician, kissed a blackberry flower and brought back to the fruit. Hmm. With the help of a magician, the magic melted and the two lived happily ever after. Oh, that one translated a little bit weird, so I'm not so sure about that one. Um, this one is called Under the Mistletoe. Cat lovers are kissing under the mistletoe on Christmas night. Mistletoe has been, has been considered to bring good luck in various European countries since ancient times and has been used for ceremonies and decorated for Christmas. The love of the two will last forever. This one is called Iris Message. Iris is an ancient Greek rainbow goddess. As a messenger of the supreme god Zeus and the goddess Hera, she conveys a message to the earth. The message is that Iris carries down the rainbow bridge that shines in several colors. It's really wonderful news about love. Now this starts another chapter and it's called Legend of Stars and Constellations. And this page is called Seven Diamonds. A kind Russian girl looking for water for her sick mother, the wish came true and the wooden Hishaku, um, I'll show you over here, it says Hishaku, turned into gold and the water overflowed. There are seven diamonds inside. When, the thing, when they thanked the God and moistened their throats, the diamond climbed into the sky and became the seven stars of the North. This is horoscope and 12 constellations. The people of ancient Mesopotamia region who created the constellation sang the sun and the moon as gods. It was the beginning of, of the horoscope that the fate of the country and the king was thought to be connected to the celestial bodies. The constellations were introduced to Greece and the myths of the constellations spread in, con in connection with the ancient Greek gods and legends. This is another double page spread here called Xenu and Xenu. It was while traveling in China that I heard the legend of a woman and cow who were allowed to meet only once a year. Looking at the beautiful Milky Way on the night of Tanbata, I can see the happy faces of the two who meet again after a long absence. Now this says a cow, but I don't see a cow. I see two people here, so I don't know if cow was the correct translation on there or not. Now this one is an, another chapter called Legend of Mysterious Creatures. And this page is Lady and the Unicorn. A tapestry of the Lady and the Unicorn seen at the Medieval Museum in Paris, France. If, I'm, if I met a unicorn, can I get along? Well, imagine that. Gargoyle and Chess. When staying in an apartment in Paris from Notre Dame Cathedral, Gargoyle came to visit us. Gargoyles are monster shaped and shaped and stone statues that act as spouts for Gothic architecture. But today I play chess leisurely while looking at Menon and the Eiffel Tower enjoying. Mermaid and Crab Barber. The Mermaid Merrow lives on the bottom of the Irish Sea. The Crab Barber shop is very popular with mermaids who are proud of their beautiful hair. Two scissors will cut it quickly. Merrow Dresser, a lipstick made by mixing octopus ink with a glittering seahorse colored nail polish. A pearl necklace made from mermaid tears is also a must have for Mero who loves fashion. 
The key has a small mermaid object that looks just like Meryl. This painting is called Werewolf. A werewolf, a human who has transformed into a wolf at night. Howls echoes at the Belarus woods. If you hear a werewolf, you must leave the place immediately. A human being bitten by a werewolf also becomes a werewolf. Barcelos Rooster Garo. In, Barce in Barcelos, the pilgrimage town of Portugal, the young man who was about to be executed on charges of innocence was saved and the young man said if the roasted chicken was in innocent when is it oh boy i think this one's a little crazy too a little crazy translation to this one this one we're not i'm not so sure about what this one says um it says if the roasted chicken was innocent when it was time for execution the man was standing up well oh. so I don't, I don't really know what that one is about Something about a chicken or a rooster. I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. And we're up to this one. It's called Waterside Von Dyke. I met Von Dyke in the Czech Republic. It is a fashionable water fairy who dress, dresses up, but you need to be careful because it can be mischievous to humans. Fashionable Pegasus. Pegasus in ancient Greece is beautiful. Let's enjoy fashion with Pegasus today. Pegasus also likes the hairstyle that matches men on. Fox's Marriage. If you see a vague and mysterious light at night in a mountain in Japan, it might be a fox's marriage. Don't be surprised. I gently watched over the beginning of the new couple. This one is Mountains Where the Tengu live. A small Karasu Tengu sits on a tall tree in a mountain village in Japan and watches over the village. Sometimes it seems that he is flying around freely, making the most of his light body. All right, now here's a new chapter and it's called The Legend of God. This page is called Ancient Egyptian Legend. Lucky item. Ankh Wadjit's eyes, Wadjit's eyes, Scarab Jed, goddess Isis and her son Horcus in the shape of a falcon, pyramids and camels, golden mask of Tutankhamun, and lotus flowers. The motifs of ancient Egypt are all unique and attractive. Legendary Island Atlantis. About 11,000 years ago, it sank overnight due to a large earthquake and flood. A phantom island that is said to have been done before by the ancient Greek sea god Poseidon. The island built in the Atlantic Ocean. It was a peaceful and prosperous ideal nation. Oh, this is a double page spread too. Let's try to get the whole thing in the pain frame there. This is called 12 Ancient Greek Gods. Introducing the 12 gods who live on Mount Olympus, Hera and Zeus in the center, Aphrodite, Dionysus, Poseidon, Athena, Hephaestus on the left, on the right are Artemis, Artemis Apollo, Ares, and Demeter Hermes. Hermes. Here's another double, double page spread. This one is called Four Gods. In ancient China, the sacred god who was supposed to protect all four sides of the heavens, blue in the east, white tiger in the west, Saku in the south, and Genbu in the north, it seems that we are good friends today. I like this page a lot. This one is called Rainbow Over Igazu Falls. The Igazu Falls on the border between Brazil and Argentina have, beautiful, have a beautiful rainbow legend. A beautiful daughter who was turned into a rock by the god of the snake that lives in the waterfall and a young lover who was turned into a palm tree. 
The god and goddess who had mercy on them cast a rainbow between them so that the, their thoughts could reach, reach them. This one is called Sashiku Warshi no Sumi House. Sashiki Warshi, Warshi is a Japanese god who lives at home. It is said that the house will become richer when Sashiki or she is settled. It seems that they are also good playmates for cats. Again, forgive me if I'm saying these some of these words wrong, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> then this one here is called Hero God Mao. The, dem the demigod Mao, whose father is a god, used a large magic hook to catch land from the seabed, making it the first island in the Polynesian islands. He stole fire and gave it to humans, lifted the sky near the ground high, caught the sun with a rope, slowed it down, and lengthened the day. Pele and Palihu. Pele, the goddess of fire on Kilahu Volcano in Hawaii, and Pali Hau, who the goddess of snow on Manuki are rivals. Pele uses lava as a weapon and Pali who uses snow as a weapon. I'll do another one that was tough for me to read. Um, let's see. This starts another chapter called Human Legend. And this one here is called Queen Cleopatra. Cleopatra, the queen of ancient Egypt, is wise, beautiful, and proficient in language. Even though she is usually busy, she enjoys relaxing time surrounded by the scent of her favorite roses. Scientist Hypata. Hypata, a female scientist who has made a name for herself in history, actually exists, exists in Alexandria, Egypt, at the end of the Roman Empire. There were many students, especially those who were familiar with philosophy, math mathematics, astronomy, and medicine. It seems that she, that she came to the Library of Alexandria today looking for materials to use for the next lecture. Treasure Hall of Petra Ruins. Petra, the ruin of ancient caravan city in Jordan, a beautiful building made by carving rocks El Kazan means a treasure hall. And there's a legend that the treasure of the Pharaoh is hidden. Let's think about the lives of ancient people while being illuminated by the fantastic light of candlelight. This one is called the Legendary Hill of King Arthur. Glastonbury, England is known for the various legends, including the legend of King Arthur. A small hill called Glastonbury Tor is said to be the gateway to Avalon Island, where King Arthur had reached his end. The Tower of St. Michael rises above the hill. Another double page spread, and it's just the cover illustration. This is the title of this one. And it says, From the Legendary World, it is a coloring book of a color illustration that collects many legends that were colored in this book. Please enjoy with your favorite colors and your favorite painting methods. Okay. This page is, says, after the trip. After a long journey to find the legend, Manon is back at her house. Beautiful fairy queen Titiana and mermaid Marrow, unicorn and gargoyle. The world is mysterious and wonderful, far more than I imagined. It was full of legends. Manon's small trunk is full of mysterious legends and memories that I encountered on my trip. I hope I can meet you again someday. Another doubles page. And then um, these are just postcards here. They do have some, have some descriptions on those too, since they're postcards and sympathy cards. Um, let's see. This one is Baba Yaga goes out for a walk in the woods on a sunny day. This one is for the goddess of flowers, is wearing a beautiful flower dress. This one is the fairy is enjoying tea time with a lily of the valley cup. This one is Menon and the unicorn seem to have become friends with each other. This 
one is if you go to the check waterfront, you may meet Vaudink. Don't fall asleep. During class at familiar school, uh, during class at familiar school, let's listen to the teacher. This one. Above the lake is a swan, and what is reflected on the surface of the lake is a black swan. Also, this must be black swan, maybe. Have a fun Halloween night with the ghosts. And that's it for the World Legends. These are more books. Oh, I have this postcard book, too. I forgot to show you that one. This postcard book, um, I, you can also get this on Amazon Japan. Um, this was actually the first flip through I ever did on my channel. All right, so I hope you enjoyed our little time together reading, going through the translations of and the stories in this book. So hopefully we'll be able to do this again and next time we can maybe go through the translations for these two, these two books here. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so I can, I know that you're interested. And so I hope everyone has a really great day. Happy coloring and I'll see you next time. Thank you.